Hello Pit Crew! In today's video, I'm going to take a look at the Sim Racing Coach GT Pro Wheel. This is a standalone wheel and button box that can be used with most direct drive wheelbases. When it comes to choosing the steering wheel for a direct drive system nowadays, it's not really that straightforward. You could go for expensive rims like these, or for 3D printer rims and Fanatec rims, we add all the adapters and go racing. This is where the Sim Racing Coach GT rim comes into play. It's a 100% plug and play rim that's guaranteed to work and it's not going to break the bank. It costs roughly about 475 euro with the wheel and it works pretty much for any direct drive system as long as you have the right adapter for it. When I first started, saw this rim, there wasn't really a lot of English reviews out there. But I read the fact sheet and I was kind of sold on it, especially because it had a Leo de Bonner display, which I really prefer over the LCD screens. But once I got this in hand, oh, this rim feels great. And I love using this rim for almost all of my sim racing needs nowadays. When you look at the outside of the button box, it's made out of two carbon fiber plates, one on the front and one on the back. And they're separated by metal standoffs right where the bolts are for your rim. And all this, and it's also got 3D printed ABS that covers all the electronics that are housed inside. The wheel rim itself is made by Motomec, which is really well known for producing affordable car parts for the real world. Uh, but you don't have to use this rim, you can get just the button box itself and use whatever your rim you want, as long as it has a 70 millimeter universal pattern. So if you don't want to use this D-shaped rim, you can use a round rim, you can use a butterfly rim, and just uh, bolt it onto the bottom box itself. For me, I opted for the SLI Pro display from Leo Bonner. Why? Because I think LED lights are awesome. So they use some metal standoffs that this really allows the wheel itself to connect to the direct drive motor. And that really ensures that all the forces are transferred straight to the wheel with minimal losses and not really any stress to the parts itself. So if you guys are worried about the 3D printed parts right here, don't worry about it. It's really more just to, to house electronics and nothing else since all the strength is transferred straight to the wheel. So now when we take a look at the buns on the front, there are six of them, four on the top and two on the bottom. Uh, <clears throat> the really buttons, there's not really much to say about them. They're pretty good. Uh, they have a very nice tactile feel and really nice clicking sound when you click them. And then you got your two buttons on top. They're surrounded by machined aluminum. That way, uh, as you're turning the wheel or you're trying to do some configurations, you don't accidentally press them. It really stops you from getting in there. Uh, so for me, this really makes it an ideal use for either DRS or your pet limiter. Uh, things that you don't want to hit by accident, and you really want me to do that. Then we move on to, there's two switches, uh, there are two-way toggle switches, one right here and another one right here. For me, this was really a minus. I really wish that they used uh, funky switches uh, instead, because it really limits on what you can do. Uh, so for me, I really use them to cycle through my MFD uh, as I'm going through my settings of my car, like when I want to change how much fuel I put into it, what tires I want to change. Uh, so I can really use it by going up and down on both of these switches. Like I said, I really wish they were funky switches because it would make things a lot, lot easier. The last on the front, you've got two rotary knobs, uh, which also feel really good, have a really nice click to them. Uh, and then you can also press them to be used as, as extra buttons too. Uh, so for these, they're about 16 way uh, rotary switches and so they can be programmed to either be held down and rotated or just rotated and then use it as an actual button itself. So all in all though I think that this button box is really offers a great deal of functionality and it doesn't look cluttered and everything's really close to your fingers so if there's not really much movement that's needed to, to get access to these buttons uh, they're really in great reach of everything. Take a look at the back. So it comes with an SRC Q1R quick release. Uh, this is really mostly made for your Cube 1 users. 
But again, you can swap this out for any type of quick release you have for any of your other direct drive motors, as long as it's using the 70 millimeter bolt pattern. If your attachment doesn't have the 70 millimeter, 70 millimeter bolt pattern, then you would have to get an adapter and change that and hook it up to the back of this wheel. The USB cable, it's a coil USB cable, uh, not really much to speak about. So now when the spline box first came out, your, mag your magnetic shifters used to be 3D printer, but now they've changed that. Now they're machined aluminum, <clears throat> which is a lot, lot better in my opinion. I mean, sometimes 3D printing doesn't always work all that well. Sometimes the welts uh, don't hold and they can break over time. So swapping over to this uh, aluminum mach machined aluminum part is really welcome. <clears throat> and when you click on it, you get a really, really nice shift. Uh, so that way you know you're not gonna miss shift in this car, uh, or you know every single time. Uh, the plates themselves are made out of carbon fiber. So for me, like for some people, so to some people this might be a little too loud for them. So what you can do is you can grab a little piece of fabric, slot it in the middle between here, and glue it, and that way sh that should lower the noise just a little bit. But overall for me, I like hearing these shifts. So to me, this is a really welcome uh, addition to this rim. As I said earlier, uh, this rim is made by Motomac which uh, again they produce affordable car parts but the downside for me it's made out of Alcantara and if you guys know what happens to Alcantara over time if you don't clean it you get this uh, I wish they went with more of a molded rubber rim instead of this because if you don't clean your rim it's gonna look like this uh, it's gonna look all matted gnarly and nasty so uh, yes if you're gonna have this rim you better use it with gloves and actually take good care of that Quintera or else you end up with something like this. Back to that slide display, you can use a number of programs to configure it from fan LEDs, SIM hub, SLI Max Manager, and Z1 Dashboard. For me, I use fan LEDs, which is very easy and intuitive to configure. In fan LEDs, you can click on hardware, then SLI Pro, to open up a new window. Here, you're gonna see a screen that pretty much resembles the SLI Pro display. If you click on the lights on the bottom, you can pick whatever you want them to flash for. For example, I click on the left blue light, I can set it to flash to let me know when I'm low on fuel. There are tons and tons of options you can use to display what you want those lights to do. You can also configure the toggle switches to change the data displayed on the screen. There are tons of options for you to configure and display, which makes it that much more impressive. Before I get into my final thoughts, let's take a look at the good and the not so good with this SRC Pro wheel. Pros? The wheel is very well thought out. It's not cluttered. Tactile buttons and rotary switches. A Leo Bonner SLI display with a lot of customization. You can use any wheel rim with a universal 70mm pattern. Magnetic shifters. Carbon fiber plates on the front and the back. A very solid design. And is very affordable. Cons? Has a 3D printed middle section. They use Alcantara rims. Not enough buttons for today's open wheeler cars. And lastly, two way toggle switches. So, what are my final thoughts on this rim? I really enjoy using it for GT driving to open wheelers. It's a very well thought out wheel where they use quality components combined with smart cost saving measures to give us an impressive rim that won't break the bank. They use carbon fiber panels along with the steel support to give us a rigid wheel and use 3D printing in the not so important areas. They use machine aluminum magnetic paddle shifters and Leo Bodner electronics that come together to give you a high end feel when you compare it to other wheels at the same price point. At 425 euro for the box and 475 with the rim, I don't think you're gonna find a better deal out there. 
that's my review of the Sim Racing Coach Wheel Pro Wheel. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us keep going. Also, there's a link below to our Discord so you can see what we're up to at the Sim Pit and talk to a great community. Until next time, guys, have fun racing.